Welcome to webbikeworld.com. This is a quick look at the new Nolan N85 motorcycle helmet. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit webbikeworld.com. The N85 was introduced at the 2012 Dealer Expo in Indianapolis, and we had a preview and video of it during that event. The North American version of the N85 wasn't ready yet at that time, so Nolan had a European N85 on display, and the difference is that the DOT version unfortunately doesn't have the brow vent of the ECE version. But otherwise, the helmet seems identical, and it looks pretty much like a full-face version of the N104. It has all the quality features you'd expect from a Nolan helmet, but the big surprise is the price, which is very aggressive, so be sure to catch all the details in the full webbikeworld.com review. The plans were to get our N85 review published a couple of months ago, but the evaluators liked the N85 so much we couldn't pull it out of their hands or off their heads. The helmet comes in a choice of colors and graphics, especially the European version, which comes in a lot of cool-looking choices that we don't see here in the States. The face shield is very large and it has excellent visibility, just like the N104. It also has a centrally placed lift tab, with a locking tab that allows for a small opening for defogging. It rotates through five detents and it feels solid. It's very easy to remove and replace by pressing a button on the side. The face shield pops off and easily snaps back on. An internal sun visor rotates via a lever in back of the face shield on the left hand side. The sun visor can be stopped in an intermediate position if desired, which is a good feature. The chin vent is covered by a grid-like plastic with a switch that opens or closes a shutter inside. The air travels up through the top of the chin guard and there are two small vents in the chin bar itself, but we can't figure out how they work. On top are two pop-open vents that are a bit stiff, but they work well and they're fairly easy to locate when wearing gloves. The N85 is ready for the Nolan NCOM Bluetooth intercom system with a mic port and speaker moldings in the EPS liner. The exhaust vent in the rear is built into the spoiler and it's covered by the same plastic grid pattern material covering the chin vent. The helmet has a microlock chin strap retainer and the lining is comfortable if not overly plush and the fabric feels just like the stuff used on the Nolan N104. A chin curtain is provided in the box and it can be a bit tricky to install. We're not sure why Nolan didn't fit it at the factory. The helmet shell in this DOT version feels very stiff and secure and the overall quality is high. So that's a quick look at a few of the features of the new Nolan N85 helmet. For the full review, more photos and all the details on this helmet and over 130 more, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.